Hello and welcome to Positron Play's Elliot Quest. Elliot Quest is an action-adventure platformer, kind of Zelda 2 inspired game from Ansimove Games. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, it had a successful Kickstarter late last year. And I actually didn't know anything about it until it popped up on my Twitter feed. So uh, it came out on the 11th. It's available on Steam. Made it through Greenlight. So let's check it out. It's a very grim start. And this is us. Our little guy. We can shoot an arrow. We can jump around. I believe these are checkpoints. Now, I've only actually played a few minutes of this game enough to find out that there are treasure chests. We can jump off ladders safely and collect money. Now, apparently, our little guy has a problem with death. Uh, no matter how many times he dies, he always comes back. Oh, we can break these pots. Awesome. Now, yeah, so these are all save points. Oh, I got some music kicking in. Hopefully I'm not talking over it too much. Oh, we could actually exit here entirely. Let's go back in here and explore it a little bit. I'll let the music play for itself for a few minutes here. It's got a very Lost Woods vibe. I dig it. I don't know what that is, but we can't reach it. I'm gonna guess that... Oh. We cannot swim. But we can critically hit, apparently. Now, as we saw before, this has an overworld, and there are some towns, so I assume we would be able to buy some things. Now, I think that meter in the lower left is our experience meter. There's a level up system. So, I think if we kill a few more of these slimes... The Guardian help doesn't help me, what am I going to do? That's a good question, little guy. I don't know. Must break everything. Now, one of these rocks has a square. I don't know if that's a hint at something, or if it's just a pattern. These are things I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Looks like it's just a pattern, actually. Oh, we can break these. And there's a scroll of some sorts there. Alright. Uh, I think that was maybe the map for this area. There's our level up screen. It looks like we have an alignment. And it looks like each level of our, or each point we put into these levels, gives us a different type of ability. That's kind of neat. I like that. Ah, there's a hidden... Alright, so there are hidden passageways here. Now we get some more money. Good to know. Oh, we can, can we break this platform even? I don't know if there's going to be anything in here, but it's worth trying. Um, I'm playing this with a PS4 controller uh, via the DS4 tool. So I would imagine this also has 360 controller support and works great. No issues whatsoever. Now, did we actually level up? I noticed our meter isn't as high as it was before. Maybe that isn't an experience meter. Hmm. Nope. I'm not sure what 
sure what that meter is then, actually. Turn on down. First flying enemy. Wonderful. Fortunately, our have ranged attacks by default, so that'll be handy. I think we can... Can we jump down? Doesn't look like it. Ah, it's a, some sort of chain combo meter. I think I saw that that actually increases the amount of experience we get. So, the more frequently we're killing things, the more experience we'll get. There's another hidden chest. Definitely gonna have to be on the lookout for these. I really dig the art style too. I know a lot of people might not necessarily be a big fan of the pixel art, or they have some pixel art fatigue, but I think it looks great. Sure, what that is? Some sort of moss. Can't quite get through there, though. Don't be afraid of what you can't see, Elliot. That's what you always said. Hm. Wise words. But you're gone. It's just me now. Oh dear, is this a boss? It is! That's our first- oh! That's our first boss! Kind of this King Slime guy. Makes a very Zelda-esque sound when we hit him. Come on down here, buddy. I can kill these little slimes all day, but you gotta come down here. Oh, there we go. Couple more hits. I think, there we go. And we killed our first boss. Exciting. And is this... Oh. Oh, oh dear. Not yet. Need more time. I was hoping we would pick up that heart container, but this is... Well, that was ominous. And that is a heart container. Excellent. And another checkpoint. I'm not sure how long I'm going to make these episodes, but we'll go a little further. That's a fancy looking chest and some rocks we can't break. I'm really digging this music. Nope. Control is great too, it's very fluid. If you see me falling or slipping off something, that's just my poor play. Now we should be at. Oh! <laughs> oh, you little bastard. We should be able to make ourselves a little staircase to get up there. Get that chest. I have no idea how much things will cost in this game, but... We've got 57 gold so far. How are we doing level-wise? Almost level 2. Now, I don't think I've seen, have we seen anything in pots yet. Just hearts, I think. Also, we could go back to our overworld going all the way back there, but we're gonna keep exploring this area. Oh, another hidden passageway, and another chest. Oh, I'm sure there are hidden areas that I have already missed.
coin. Oh, can't. Ah. Let's see if pot's reset. No. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. Maybe if we go a couple of screens away, they'll reset. Because I really want to go back up there. Oh, and we leveled up. So what do we want? We can increase our shooting range. Magic orbs give double MP. Well, we don't have magic yet. Improve shooting rate. Hearts might give double health. Or increase criticals. Hmm. I think we're going to go with increased range. I don't know how many points we're going to get overall, or if there's a way to reset them, but this seems like a pretty safe bet. Also, guys, a lot of health. There we go. There's a little statue up there. I don't know what that is. Break it? Oh, whoa. A potion. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't mean to use it right away. But now we know there are potions. I'm gonna check back again to see if. Well, we'll go a couple of screens over and then we'll see if those pots will respawn. I really want to go back up to that other area I missed. of the staircase. I see you, slime. I still got hitched by you, but I see you. Now, it doesn't look like our chain there um, is lost if we get hit, which is good. Can wait for this bat to pass. Do a sweet Mario dive. If there's anything in these crates. It doesn't look like it. Another good example of me breaking my own platforms. If we can stand on pots, in fact, I'm not even sure. Oh, I like owls. I don't want to kill these. Oh, they are very quickly. I like this uh, effect in the foreground here. Alright, here's a good test. Can we stand on pots? No, so we wouldn't be able to get there anyway. Maybe we get a double jump later. Another one of these frog throwers. Strange man. Hmm. Another potion. Well, that's good. And that black orb. Can we... Oh, we can! It's a bomb, I think. Yes. Alright, well this is a dead end, so we'll head down that ladder. Now, I'm sure we could, you know, go back and forth and farm some experience and things like that, but I'm not going to do that. I don't think that's really necessary right now. This kind of stone belcher guys. So we can angle a shot down there. Now, I saw that one of the upgrades was your arrows are no longer affected by gravity, but I kind of like the gravity effect. I'd almost be hesitant to pick that up. I mean, I assume it would give us unlimited range, but being able to hit things below us seems kind of handy. We don't have a multi-direction shot otherwise. I'm not sure what's below us, so I'm being a little careful here. I wonder if we can make a jump 
No, I don't, I don't think so. No. Hmm, curious. I wonder what's behind that waterfall. So we can not fall for these guys' traps again. Oh, it's very windy here. In fact, the, you won't be, I mean, you can't see it, of course, but there's... It is pushing me back when I jump. Or it's giving me some resistance here. And it is starting and stopping now. Does it give us a boost going this way? Yeah, it seems it. Yeah, that's that's a pretty strong wind, so I'm gonna be careful here. Some more of that green moss. Well, that can we get a higher boost? No, I'm still I'm not sure what that stuff is. Got some sort of flashback here. Shadowy figure appears. Something's wrong, Kara. Been sick for weeks and not getting better. Why am I talking to a stupid stone? You didn't die, you just left. What's the point? Good question, little guy. Sicker by the day, can't sleep, and you're gone. Why not jump? Oh dear. Because I'm a coward, that's why. Always have been. I actually have control here. Do we jump or do we go back? I think we go back. Now nah, let's jump. And we fade into darkness. Now we're on the world map. Spooky. Now, where can we go? There's a house here. Check this out. Oh, it's a shop! We can buy potions here. Now, I wouldn't normally narrate cutscenes like that, but I want to make sure that everybody gets it in case they're looking away at the time. What's here? Now, is this the same area we were in before? Very ominous music here. No one's even seen a guardian for years. Wonder why. Seems like some sort of dungeon. We'll not go there just yet. I'll probably save that for the next episode. Let's see if there's anything else we can access immediately on our world map. It's also seems like random encounters type of deal. Oh, it looks like that's actually the only place we can go, so we will go there next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click like. And if you'd like to see more Elliot quests, please subscribe. See you soon.